<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to another Monster Workshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can combine uh, puppet components along with uh, regular iClone animation techniques to get uh, some pretty good results um, pretty quickly as well. So uh, first of all, let's start off with this, uh, with this handsome devil character here. You can see that uh, he's a little handsome, but maybe he looks a little peeved. But uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to start with this guy. Get some good lighting first. We're going to start with this guy. We're going give him, to give him uh, some uh, puppet animation on his wings. So if I go to other, you can see that I can actually move around the green dot and his wings will move around. If I, if I move the green dot around in a nice circle. You get a nice smooth uh, wing flapping animation. Um, so yeah, let's just just to get the rhythm here. Um, but what I want to do is apply an animation clip first. I want to apply this uh, idle wing animation. So it's a flying idle animation. And you can see that it's, it's a little anticlimactic, a little a little dull. So let's uh, improve that a little bit. I'm going to open the timeline so I can see my clip here a little bit clearer, and you can see that. I want to add some height to my idle to make him go a bit higher. So I'll open up the uh, motion layer editor here, unlock his legs and select his hips and bring his hips up. And you'll see that that creates a keyframe in the timeline there. Now I just got to copy and paste the original keyframe uh, back to the end. So it brings him back down to the same height because the hip bone is actually the root of your character. So you got to bring it back down to the correct height. Um, yeah, so uh, that's about that. Uh, we can add a transition curve to make it seem a bit more smooth. You'll see now that uh, ease in and ease out allows it to uh, um, be a bit smoother. And so uh, let's let's save that. Uh, open up the collect clip track and save that one. Uh, add our motion to our library. We can call it uh, a big idle. There you go. All right, and uh, let's close that up and play back, there you can see, it's not too bad. So um, what I want to do is actually get my character back to a default motion now. Let's remove the animation, right click on my character and remove animation. And so he has no more animation left. And uh, yeah, let's start with start off with a uh, launching animation so we can uh, complete our, uh, our full animation here. So I'm gonna go, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over to our clips again and uh, apply a launch animation to my character. You see it jump up into the air like that. And now what I can do, go to my custom motions and there's my big idle. So you can see now, it'll idle a bit more, a bit higher. So if I can open up the timeline, um, I'm actually gonna loop that here. So I gotta make sure that, uh, I'll zoom out a little bit more here. Gotta make sure that the uh, loop is on there. And I can click and drag the uh, clip, make a few more copies. You'll see when I play back that uh, because of the increased height, you'll see his ears flop around a bit of, a bit more because <laughs> they're uh, they're spring-based uh, ears. Okay, but uh, the wings are not yet moving, so we need to remedy that situation. Uh, just get a rhythm for the idle. I'll play through it a couple times, and uh, next up is the uh, avatar toolkit. So again, we'll just uh, flap the wings. I'm going to use the real-time uh, record and time this perfectly here. Move your mouse around according to the uh, up and down of the character. And <clears throat> let's play that back and see what it looked like. Uh, if you don't like it, you can press Control Z. Let's try that one more time. And you can try this as many times as you want. Get, get all the practice you need. <clears throat> All right, so you, uh, let's see what that one looks like. Eh, not too bad. Okay. Good enough for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's open up our accessories uh, section here and select our wing. Now, both wings will um, any, any modifications will apply to both wings here because they were animated together. So I can close up the collect clip track, give myself some more room. And you can see my animation 
clip in the uh, wing track. If I shorten that down, if I deselect uh, the loop and I shorten that down, um, you'll see that <clears throat> now my wings will be out of tempo with my up and down. But that's useful if, if, you, uh, if you're out of tempo a little bit, you can actually go in there and break up that clip and, and, uh, and adjust it as well. It's a little more complicated, but uh, for now I'll just use this uh, clip that I have right now. The timing is actually not that bad, so the rhythm is uh, better than expected. Um, but let's go to right where the last uh, loop ends, and I'm going to apply my landing animation. So I'll select my character, I'll make sure we go to animation, and template, oops, motion, there we go. Okay, and back down to those wing animations and landing. My character should land. There we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's go into the timeline once again. We can see the landing clip. If I zoom in, um, we'll see that it's well, pretty much had some good positioning there, even though I didn't zoom in earlier. But you'll see that my character will continue to flap his wings after he falls to the ground. So uh, that's kind of what we don't want. We want um, his wings to kind of end up at the very highest point. Um, and we can kind of casually bring them down later. So let's break it there. Right click and break the clip and delete the end there. Um, now let's go over to the last uh, point where he's landing. Um, right about here. And what I want to do is uh, bring that up. Let's bring the avatar toolkit down a little bit so I can see better. And I want to basically uh, reset, add a key and reset my wings there. And what that'll do is that'll create a little clip you can see in, in the wings track there. And that'll be the transition back to the normal uh, wing position. So I need to extend that a little bit like we did with the previous animations, or the previous tutorial, sorry. And move that over, maybe blend it in a little bit. And play back. It looks not bad. Pretty simple transition to do. You don't have to be too accurate on that one. Um, okay, so let's uh, play that back and see what, it, see what she looks like. All right, so you can see not a bad animation, something you can definitely use in a video game. Um, the landing, everything looks pretty smooth. Um, so let's open up the timeline once again and say, for example, I wanted this uh, to go a little bit higher. I'll just copy that original uh, keyframe there in the motion layer track. And right before my character launches, his feet are still planted on the ground, let's paste that right there. And now when he's at the height of his uh, jump, what I want to do is uh, right about there, let's go into uh, the edit motion layer tool and let's uh, raise his hips again. Again, unlock the feet before you do this and uh, raise the hips. I can make him fly really as, as high as I want, but that's, that should be good right there. And uh, okay, let's close that down, play back. You'll see that uh, he'll begin flying a little bit higher. So, but he'll land in the middle of the air. So uh, <laughs> what we want to do is we want to actually uh, copy the original um, keyframe for the root. Right there, right click and select copy. And we want to paste that uh, at the point where the character is, is landing. So right when he's planted, make sure his heels are planted on the ground and you want to just paste that there. And back down on the ground. All right, so there he is, back on the ground like it should be. Okay. Um, now let's go back to the beginning here. Um, I want to copy this keyframe as well, so he doesn't gradually, gradually get closer to the ground. So he stays at this height up until about uh, up until about uh, this point here, and we can just paste that over here. So you'll see, you know, back to the same height, and then. There you go, a more natural, natural fall instead of a gradual, gradual fall throughout the animation. So let's play that back and t take a look once again. Not too bad, not bad at all. So that can be a quick, simple idle animation for any of your monster characters. Again, by using the uh, avatar toolkit, um, the real time recording and uh, motion puppets and along with uh, motion clips you're able to do a whole ton of cool stuff um, with with the uh, 
with iClone. So yeah, if you want, you can collect the clip, open that up, and save it. So that's about it. <clears throat> if you have any other questions, again, uh, email me at developer at or check out the other Monster Workshop tutorials for uh, more info.